I don't want to date a man who's a potential physical threat to me. I'm 5'4". It would require so much physical exertion in order for me to protect myself physically against somebody, so it doesn't make any sense for me to date somebody who could hurt me and do me harm. She turned off her stitches, so I'll just do my story time here. In college, I worked at a super fancy steakhouse as a hostess. We had a regular that would routinely show up right before clothes, always with three to four girls on his arm. He was like mid-40s, couldn't have been taller than 5'6". Definitely had a dad bod, did not look like he worked out. One of the nights that he came in, I was doing coat check. The restaurant was completely empty. My managers were in the back doing closing side work. It was just myself and the bartender and the guy and his girls. After about an hour of him drinking with the girls, he left the girls at the bar and came over to me at the coat check. He was super intoxicated and was asking for his coat. I asked him for his coat check number. He went into his wallet, pulled out a bunch of cash and handed that to me. I told him I couldn't do anything with the cash, still needed the coat check number. He flips the switch and he grabbed me by my neck and pulled me into him and and tried to kiss me. I was trying to push him off, hitting him in the face, nothing faced him. He decided to let go of my neck and then he stood there and laughed at me and walked away. From the time he put his hands on me to the time he let go, couldn't have been more than five seconds. And when it was happening, I remember distinctly thinking that I was shocked at how strong he was. Like I said, he couldn't have been taller than 5'6", and definitely did not look like he worked out. And I am almost 5'8", and am physically active. Up until that point, I had always walked around thinking that if anything happened to me, I could handle it. And this was the first moment that I realized that it does not matter how big a man is because men have this thing called testosterone in their body and they have more of it than women and it produces muscle mass. Don't get me wrong, there are definitely some women out there that could have easily taken this dude, but I was not one of them and that surprised me. And this is a very big part of the reason why I think it is dangerous for us to begin the rhetoric of saying that females do not exist or that being a female is intrinsically anti-trans. To deny that males and females exist or to say that there is no difference between the gender is to do women not only a disservice but put them in harm's way. Women need safe spaces and women need protection. All of women's rights is built upon the idea of protecting women because they do not have as much physical strength as men and thus have been physically assaulted, raped, and murdered at the hands of men. We live in a world where multiple things can be true at the same time. To demonize females in an attempt to be inclusive to trans women and it's intrinsically regressive. You do not need to negate one in order to make space for the other. Both of these realities can be true simultaneously. Please be mindful of the bandwagons that you jump onto without giving it thought.